Here you can see a Mercedes turn signal stock, also called a combination switch. It doesn't stay clicked, so I'm going to disassemble it and we can investigate how it works and why it's broken. It has two Torx T9 screws that are holding the plastic portion into the metal housing. Here's one and here's the other. So I removed these two screws and noticed it was still connected by two plastic clips which are attached also to the metal housing. I use a flathead screwdriver to unclip and slightly push back the clips. I was able to get it off without breaking or damaging the plastic. Next I separated the actual stock from the housing. If you take yours apart, it may separate similarly, but nothing else seems to be screwed in. It looks like the mechanism operates by pressure with all its plastic components. There are also some springs keeping the tension on some of the parts. The first thing I noticed that could be the cause of my problem was this plastic piece on the metal side of the housing, which had snapped as you can see here. The black portion of the housing also contained some kind of electronic board. I'm guessing something that controls or indicates the turn signal position. Everything in here looked okay with no damage that I could see. The stock also seemed to have spring-loaded mechanics with springs providing pressure if you move the stock up or down. Attached was another plastic bracket and two black flaps which probably help in locking the position in place. You can see the piece here in detail which also looked like it had no damage. The spring comes out pretty easily and the head has a roller type thing and a notch so it can slide back into place correctly. Here you can see the notch and position and how I had to twist the head to get it back into place. The other thing you can see is the opposite side of the stock has a groove to fit the black switch near the electrical board. The black piece with the round notch sticking out must be in the middle position so it can be pieced together correctly when reassembled. Here you can see me sliding that piece back and forth. Okay, so I've got the broken piece I showed you earlier out of the housing and glued it together with some plastic glue. I used E6000 and let it cure for about 24 hours. Next, I put the entire mechanism back together with the springs and all plastic pieces back into their original positions. I also put the plastic piece surrounding the stock that we saw earlier into the metal housing. There are two little holes that the black notches have to sit in. They must be flush with the housing otherwise you may not be able to put the entire thing back together. Here's the other angle. Okay so I got the entire thing back together ensuring all parts were in the correct position so that everything would snap back into place. Be really careful with the long Torx screws because they're really delicate and can get stripped. Unfortunately, I over tightened my screws and stripped one. I think this may have been designed this way on purpose so you don't take the stock apart and have to end up buying a new one. Okay, now that everything's back together, let me do a quick test. And it's still broken. Well. I looked through the entire stock, fixed what I could or whatever looked broken, but it still doesn't stay clicked. The only thing left I can think of is the plastic is warped out of its original position and the pressure that holds it clicked in is no longer there. Hopefully you can get an idea of how the turn signal combination switch works and as always if this video helped you please like it and share it so it can be seen by those who need to see it. I ended up getting an entirely new switch. I definitely noticed they've improved on the design, they've changed the actuation force of the, of the switch and it requires a lot more pressure when pressing it up or down. 
I didn't take that one apart, but I believe they must have improved on this mechanism. Hopefully.